the market for a Tesla, now might just be the time to head to the dealership. Phil Abo joins us now with more. Phil. Melissa, it was a week ago that Tesla said it would be slashing its prices here in the U.S. as well as in Europe and other parts of the world. And after that, what happened was a surge in interest in Tesla vehicles. These are new numbers from uh, Edmunds, which tracks how many people are looking at websites of different automakers, different vehicles. The Model Y, now the second most researched vehicle, it was something like 60th uh, the week before. The Model 3 has jumped from 30th up to number 11 in terms of the most researched vehicles. As a reminder, these were substantial price cuts that Tesla initiated on the Model 3 and the Model Y. How substantial? About 6% or $3,000 on the Model 3 and about $13,000 or just under 20% for the Model Y. Well, that's good news if you're in the market to buy a Tesla. Not so good if you're somebody who has one and says, hey, maybe I'll cash in on the interest that's out there. Why? According to Edmunds, the January average used Tesla price was down almost $18,000 since June. Now, the high was in June. It's come down about $18,000, about 24%. In terms of a percentage, that is a much larger drop in a used Tesla percentage wise than for the market overall. I think the market overall was down 11 percent. Used Tesla is down 24 percent. Don't forget, we get Tesla's Q4 results next Wednesday. I suspect a lot of questions for Elon Musk during the conference call. If he's on the call, we expect that he probably will be. Uh, and the real question is going to be, guys, what is happening to the uh, auto gross margins? 26.8 percent is where they were at. In the third quarter, many believe they're going to come down substantially when they report their Q4 results. And then, of course, the question becomes, where, where do they settle out, if you will, in the first half of this year, if not later this year?